Uh, in this video we'll just carry on with the chess piece and we'll show you how we can use the rotary axis to machine around the part rather than along. Okay, so uh, one thing I do need to remember to do is under the milling tab under setup here is set my tool change position to be something other than zero. Okay, and also we can output the um, uh, the file, the G-code file, is the same name as the part file. Okay, so we're going to use the uh, advanced machining again. So we'll set up the speeds and feeds to wherever we want them to be. We can use that same tool, the 4 mil end mil, and under surface paths we're using triangle mesh, and we're using rotary. Now, one thing I do need to set is I'm going to change this to a round in a moment. But before I do that, under advanced tab here for surface quality, I need to uncheck arc fitting because that is not uh, available uh, using the uh, rotary around. Uh, so we're going to use the around function and we're going to set the machining surfaces. So it's the night press enter to accept that the heights will be the minimum maximum from the machining surfaces if I want to limit the amount of machining then I can use the user defined start and end points here for the uh, for the actual machining the axis of rotation again will be in the X axis so that gets switched on Z gets switched off and the options here are the start and end angle and how we want to cut it zigzag one way or spiral so in most cases you'll need zigzag unless you've got the type of rotary axis that can wind up to a huge value so zigzag will go around to 360 and then reverse back the other way and we'll set the maximum step over to say two and a half uh, degrees under the link tab here we'll set our retracts have that as 50 10 5 5 and 5 and click OK right so that's obviously uh, machined all the way around there but probably I'd need to go back and change the step over to something a bit smaller that looks a bit big so we'll change that to say, oh, let's have one mil. Okay, there we are, that's that. Uh, so we'll go into the simulator again. And we'll import that stock file that we used previously. Okay, so now we're uh, ready to go. Now you can see that the tool is in the correct position here rather than starting off at um, Z0 as it did previously. So now we can just run that. Any retracts that you see moving here can be controlled with the uh, links uh, tab, which sets up whether you want the tool or need the tool to retract um, between any of the passes that it uh, encounters so that you can cut down on the uh, amount of uh, air movement of the tool.
Okay, so that's uh, that's that all done, and you could then just uh, produce a simple drilling operation just to drill through the uh, the eye there. Okay, so that's that piece machined.